Hey guys, this is John with NRSNG.com. You can learn more about us at visiting the blog NRSNG.com or you can find all of our books on Amazon by going to nursingstudentbooks.com. You can also find our podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. So thank you for checking out this show. Um, today we're going to talk about BUN. What is it and what does it mean? So we'll do a quick little overview of the kidneys and we'll then talk a little bit briefly about exactly what is BUN and what does it mean. So first of all, you might notice that I'm calling it BUN. The reason for that is this lab actually stands for blood urea nitrogen. Okay, so calling it BUN is actually the appropriate term for it rather than calling it BUN. Um, that's just a little side note there, but that, that would be the right way to, to actually say the lab value. All right, so let's get into exactly where the kidneys are located within the body. We know that the kidneys are located, you have one on either side of the body, um, and the right one's actually located just a tad bit lower um, than the left one, um, and they're located, you can assess kidneys um, by percussing on the back of the patient just below the costal uh, ridge there and you can actually fill uh, or the patient may you can elicit pain of the patient if it elicits percussing there elicits pain the patient may be experiencing um, uh, renal uh, damage there so that's how you can kind of check for the that's where the kidneys are and that's how you can kind of check for them there so really quickly let's just kind of talk about um, the, the external anatomy of the kidney so blood is supplied to the kidneys from the abdominal aorta and it's taken away from the kidneys via the, via the inferior vena cava. And the kidneys actually get about 22% of cardiac output. So they, they take up, they require uh, or demand quite a bit of our cardiac output. And you can see on top of each kidney, you have your adrenal gland. Um, and we've talked about that in different podcast episodes and things, but uh, each kidney has a little adrenal gland on top of them. Um, and again, you can see the right one is located just a tad bit lower than the left one, okay? So then in, inside each kidney, what we have here is you can see these little darkened areas. These are called the pyramids, and within the pyramids, you have this lower area here that's called the medulla, and then you have the cortex up here, okay? So you can see you have several of those, and then within uh, these pyramids, we have Let's see here. Within these pyramids, we have um, our nephrons, okay? So you see this is the nephron kind of right here. And each, each kidney has about one million nephrons, okay? So, and then up on the cortex, we have these little uh, balls here. These are called the glomerulus, okay? You can see the glomerulus. So what happens is blood is is supplied, it eventually gets to here, and in the glomerulus, uh, some of that blood is, is filtered, and what is excreted then comes down here through the, the loop. You know, this is the loop of Henley, and then it is taken out via the collecting duct, and then taken to um, the ureter, and is excreted via the urine. Okay, so that's kind of how that all works there within the kidney. All right. So, a, a little bit closer look here, you can see your glomerulus here, your artery is supplying the blood here, it's filtered, and then it comes down, you have more blood coming in here, and some of it passes into the uh, collecting duct, the loop of Henle, taken into the collecting duct, okay? So that's kind of how it works in a very close uh, range, looking at it much closer. Okay, so let's go back to this picture here. Um, so what happens here is the liver, so, so blood urea nitrogen is a measure of how much um, nitrogen is, is contained within the blood. Okay, so what nitrogen is, so what happens is your liver, we'll just draw a little liver here. Okay, there we go. There's a little liver. So what happens is uh, nitrogen is actually a byproduct of protein metabolism so and it's 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 created or, or the urea is formed by the liver and it's carried by the blood to the kidneys for excretion so 
as protein is metabolized, it is then broken down into urea. And then urea travels from the, the liver and into the kidneys for excretion. Okay. So what can happen is if you have decreased renal function, of course, you are then going to see elevated BUN. Okay. So if the, if the kidneys are not able to appropriately filter this urea out and excrete it via the urine, you're going to see the BUN go up. Okay. So as blood passes from the liver, passes into the kidneys, it's going to pass through that whole little uh, system that we, we showed there. The, um, and then if it is unable to filter out that urea, you're going to see an elevated blood urea nitrogen. Okay. So the reference value is going to be about seven to 20 and it values can go, can decrease with pregnancy and then they can increase a bit with elderly patients. So let's talk about some of the different things that are going to, uh, lead to elevated or decreased, um, levels. Okay. So things that are going to increase your BUN. Okay. So if we're talking about increased BUN, what we're talking about is we're talking about the fact that the kidneys are not filtering that urea out. And so we're retaining that urea within our blood. Okay. So what are things that are going to increase the BUN or in other words, what are reasons that the kidneys may not be able to filter some of that urea out? Okay. So of course we're going to have decreased renal function, That's going to be one thing, CHF, because we're going to have decreased uh, blood supply to our um, kidneys, dehydration, shock, hemorrhage, let's see, let's write it like this, hemorrhage, MI, stress, and excessive protein intake. So as we look at these reasons, these are all things that are going to, so this is, is just acute decreased renal function. So the kidneys themselves are not uh, functioning as they should. These things here are going to be um, decreased blood supply to the kidneys. And then this of course is going to be increased protein intake. If we increase our protein intake, uh, of course, we're going to have more protein breakdown and the liver is going to deliver more urea nitrogen to the kidneys themselves. Okay. So let's talk about, uh, reasons that we're going to see decreased BUN. Okay. So let's do decreased BUN. Okay. So reasons that would lead to the kidneys excreting less, uh, less urea. Okay. So some of the reasons for that would be liver failure, malnutrition, overhydration, and SIADH. Okay. So we're talking about, and then like, uh, malabsorption issues. Okay. So again, got to kind of think of the exact opposite reasons that we would have increased BUN for decreased BUN. Um, if our liver isn't working appropriately, it's not going to be breaking down and metabolizing protein. So it's not going to be delivering urea to the kidneys for them to excrete, uh, in malnutrition. If, if the patient's not getting enough protein, uh, then again, there's not going to be, uh, that urea delivered to the kidneys and then SIADH. So what can happen here is when a person has SIADH, the antidiuretic hormone responsible for stimulating um, the kidney conservation of water causes excess water to be retained. So rather than excreting that water in the urine, it's retaining that water and it can cause um, the BUN to actually then decrease. Okay. So you're retaining all that water, blood's more dilute and you're going to have a decreased BUN. Okay. And then malabsorption, of course, if, even if the patient's getting appropriate protein intake, uh, if they're not absorbing that, then again, the liver's not going to be breaking that down 
and it's not going to be delivering it to the kidneys. Okay, so those are just some of the things that can cause increased and decreased BUN. Um, again, the thing we want to just think about really, it's it, just as a quick overview, is you know we have our liver. What it's going to do is it's going to break down protein. And then what happens is that broken down protein is then called urea, nitrogen, okay? And that urea, nitrogen is then delivered to the kidney. And what the kidney does is it, so that's all delivered via the bloodstream to the kidney, right? And so what the kidney does is then is it filters that blood and it excretes the urea out through the urine okay so that's what's happening so again going back to the other chart we can think about um, reasons that would increase or decrease uh, the blood urea nitrogen levels so that's really kind of the basics of what BUN is if you have any questions you can reach out to me you can reach me at contact at nrsng.com You can visit the blog, leave a comment, and you can leave a comment here in the video. Um, best place would be just to email or to find us on Facebook at NRSNG. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a great day um, and happy nursing.